Good evening, everyone. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Hey, great Good to evening. have you here. Filomena, thank you for answering. Guillermo Antonio, welcome. Ivania, hello, Ivania. Good evening, welcome. Thank you for being my early bird. You know what early birds is? Adores tempraneros, okay? Just in time and in one minute, we are going to get started, okay? Tenemos un punto. Okay, tell me. Ah, yeah, extra point, yeah. One, you're going to get 11 at the end in your average, okay? So here we go. Okay, class, good evening. It is a real pleasure that all of you are here in this class today. And today is our class number 13, our session number 13, okay? So I would like you to tell me if you have been working in the platform and if you have had any problem with the exercises, okay? Tell me, please. Me comentan si han estado trabajando en la plataforma y si han encontrado alguna dificultad. No ha habido problema con los ejercicios. No? No, no, todo bien. Okay, on your side, everything okay. And you, Guillermo Antonio, have you found any problem? ¿Ha encontrado algún problema? No, ya los, ya terminé también. Los, okay, ya. great, excellent, that's amazing. Ah, Miss Barbara is back. The girl is back. Okay, good evening. Good evening, Barbara. We have been missing you yesterday and the day before yesterday. La estuvimos extrañando ayer. Okay, también el martes. William Francisco is joining right now. Okay, class, we have too many things to do today. William Francisco, hello, welcome. Good evening, nice to have you here. I'm going to start presenting my PPT as every single day for you guys. So here we go. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And today is Wednesday, September 7th, 2022. Is that correct? Yes. If it is not correct, tell me please. Okay. So here we have our video conference number 13. Our first activity is greetings as every day. Los saludos, lo primero que hacemos. We're going to have our feedback. We're going to read our objectives. We're going to be asking what time questions. You're going to be building what time questions and your task is building my what time questions. La tarea principal, la actividad principal será construir oraciones what time, okay? And we're going to be focusing at pages 33 and 34 in order to achieve our activities, okay? We're going to try to develop these objectives which is our goal. And as every day, I need someone to help me reading the objectives. One volunteer to help me read the objectives. Que me va a ayudar a leer los objetivos? Only one. Don't fight, please. No se peleen por leer. Okay, who's going to help me? Okay, Carlos Miguel Lumaña. Hello, Carlos. Welcome. Okay, read the objectives. Good evening. Good evening. Please read the objectives for the class. Thank uh, you. A specific objective a participant will be able to ask for and say the time of activities at our workplace. Class objective participant will be able to use question with what time. Very well, excellent. As I told you at the beginning, the goal, the objective is to practice and build questions and answer also questions with the structure of what time. And here, I, as Carlos read for you class, at the end, we expect that you are going to be able, okay? Que van a poder uh, ask for, preguntar, and say, y decir, the time of activities at your workplace, okay? La hora en la que realizan determinadas actividades. Here, a reminder on your homeworks and evaluations, okay? It is just a reminder as every single day. And here, we have the feedback. 
yesterday, if you remember class, we were practicing with the WH information questions, such as, tal es como, where, what, when, how, who. Remember that we use who for people, yeah? Either in singular or plural. And also you were building a conversation, if you remember about your daily routines at work, right? Do you remember? Because today we're going to go a little bit further. Vamos a ir un poquitito más allá. How come? ¿Cómo es eso? Well, based on what you did yesterday on your routines at work, you're going to be more specific because you're going to say the time when you perform those duties. Cuando realizan esas actividades. And you were building WH questions, yes? And you were writing different conversations in the different groups in relation to the WH information questions. Is that correct? Así es lo que trabajamos ayer. ¿Se recuerdan? Yeah. And here I have this slide as a reminder, okay, for you guys. And here I told you yesterday that we use what to ask for information about something. For example, what is your name? What is also used, también se usa, to ask about information or repetition, okay? What did you say, okay? Lo utilizamos para preguntar, uh, para pedir confirmación o repetir. Que algo se repita. What is your daily routine, for example? Where is used to ask about a place or location? Where, okay. where do you live? Who is used to ask about people? Who is your boss? Why is used to ask about the reason or a motive? Why do you work in that company? And which, okay, here we have which. I added which is used to ask about an option, alternative, but with limited possibilities. Which is your favorite ice cream, vanilla or chocolate? Okay, only two options. Do you remember that? Yes, you were practicing with this. Okay, so I'm going to, because in the slide that I shared with you yesterday, guys, it was not which in Clavid, but today it is in Clavid. So I'm going to share this with you right now. Okay, here via WhatsApp. So you can have it as a reminder. Okay, welcome to the ones who joined recently, okay, to the class. Thank you for being here. You are really welcome. I was missing you, but now you're here. I'm happy for that. Okay, here, create a conversation following the model in your manual, uh, working at page 32, okay? If you remember here, what do you do on weekdays? I start to work at one o'clock. I prepare the machines and blah, blah. I begin to coordinate the employee's performance. Wow. When does your supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, he checks once a month. And what about you? What do you do? Well, I work in the accounting department. I keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows, for example, right? And here we go, because what time, okay? Here is the structure for today. What time do or does plus subject? The verb in the base form. El verbo va en la forma normal, en la base, en su raíz, and the complement. For example, what time do you take a shower? I take a shower at 5 a.m. What time does she take a shower? She takes a shower at 5 a.m., okay? And we're going to practice right now here. We do or does. Get ready, please. 
Okay, let me see. My first victim today is going to be um, Miss Milagro Mabelin. Miss Mabelin, what time? Okay, Miss Mabelin, what time do you have a breakfast? What time do you have breakfast? Breakfast in the morning. Uh, what time eight. I have breakfast at eight at or eight. at eight a.m. Okay, now class, I ask you. This is a question for all of you. Tell me, what time does Madeline have a breakfast? Mm -hmm. She? She has breakfast. Uh -huh, very well. Excellent. She has breakfast at 8 a.m. Very well. Let's imagine that. Uh, we were in a, in a team, right, working. So I asked the direct question to Madeline and she answers to me. And then I ask uh, Ivania in this case, because she answered and she answered based on the information that Madeline gave, okay? Y ella contestó en base a la información que Madeline proporcionó. Is that okay? Yes? Did you get the idea? Yes? Okay, great. So do you want me to share that uh, via WhatsApp with you? ¿Quieren que les comparta via WhatsApp la estructura? También aquí, por favor. Sí. Para y, la, y la conversación también. Okay, acá uh -huh. en el repaso. Vean, okay. Here, but, okay, I'm going to diminish this. Here. And... Right now, I'm going to share it with you guys via WhatsApp, okay? This one. Using what time, okay? So you can have it in there. I'm sharing the knowledge so you don't have a problem when we practice in the book, okay? And this one also, the structure. What time do you, blah, blah, you change the verb when it is direct. And what time does she or what time does he, blah, blah. He or she, blah, blah, and the time, okay? So did I share this with you? No. Okay, here, and let me see. Okay, great. There we go. Very good. And now let's give a glance to our manual. Y ahora démosle una revisadita al manual. Okay. So it is this one. Okay. If you remember class, uh, <clears throat> we were working yesterday up to here, right? So here, information questions and answers. What does she do on Saturday and Sunday? If you remember, you were asking yesterday about what do you do on Monday? What do you do on Tuesday? What do you do on Friday? Yes. And here, what does she do on Saturday and Sunday? Two days. So it means in the weekend. She visits other companies and has meetings. What does he go on? Tuesday, Tuesday's afternoon, he goes to the company's headquarters. Do you know the meaning of headquarters? Yes? What does a headquarters mean in Spanish? It is the main office, the principal office, okay? For example, if I ask you, um, the headquarter of a bank, for example, okay? I'm not going to say the name of, of the bank because, you know, uh, but one that is very popular and where uh, is the, where are the headquarters of the bank, blah, blah. And you tell me, ah, oh, in Colombia, okay? But we have branches in El Salvador, okay? Because the, the main office, the principal office is not in El Salvador, is in another country, 
okay? Where it uh, was born, donde nació esa compañía, ¿sí? Headquarters. And which department does our bus supervise? Our bus supervises, supervises, because it is our bus. How many buses do we have? Only one, third person singular. That is why we say our bus supervises the marketing department. What time does Miguel start to work? Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. Yes? Okay. Comprendimos headquarters, las oficinas centrales o casa matriz, sí, headquarters. And now it is here. The time for the class. Let's create questions with the words provided. Provided, sorry. Why he have a meeting? What do you think should be the correct word order for this sentence? Why he have a meeting? Which is the first word? Why? Why? Okay, Why? let's do it together, the first one, okay? Why? And why? In this sentence, we don't have a modal auxiliary and we don't have the verb to be, if you notice. Acá no tenemos ningún verbo auxiliar, tampoco tenemos el verbo to be. ¿Cuándo se da ese caso? ¿Cuál es el modal auxiliar que vamos a utilizar? Do or does. En este caso, ¿vamos a utilizar does o do? Does. Ok, does. because it is he. Very well. So we say why, now the modal auxiliar, does, the next word. He, the subject for now. And now the verb in the base form. El verbo en su base normal, natural. ¿Cuál sería? Why does he? Uh, have. The complement? A meeting. Okay. Mm. And what is missing at the end? The question mark. Okay. Porque acá no nos lo dan, miren. Entonces, veamos, como no aparece el question mark, it is a must, an obligation that you write the question mark. You need to add the question mark. Como no aparece acá, es obligación que agreguemos el question mark at the end. Okay? Why does he have a meeting? Very well. Okay, now let's try to build number two. You dictate for me, okay? Where does? Okay, excellent. Where does? ¿Por qué utilizamos el verbo auxiliar das? Someone to tell me. Alguien me explica. Where does? Because eh, pronoun personal she. Excellent. Because the subject of the sentence is the personal pronoun she, which is a third person singular. Y es tercera persona de singular. So we say, where does she? Process the pay payments, payment. Process the payments, very well. Where does she process the payments? El verbo va en su base normal natural, porque llevamos el modal auxiliar y das. What about number three? What could it be? What Ingrid do on Wednesdays? What does? Okay. Let's see. What does Ingrid? Ing no, what does? Yes. Um, Ingrid? She? Ingrid do mm -hmm. on Wednesday. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Uh -huh. On Wednesdays. Wednesdays, los miércoles, because it is plural. And here I want you to notice this. This is what I was telling you. Uh, previously, okay? In other classes. What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? Here does is the modal auxiliary and do is the main verb. Do es el verbo principal, ¿sí? Does, fíjense, les decía que do tiene doble función. Como verbo auxiliar, no meaning. 
¿okay? No tiene significado, no hay traducción. Pero do, el verbo hacer. What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? Yes. And now, here, acá tenemos do con su doble función, como verbo auxiliar y verbo principal. Don't you forget that, please. Don't forget that. Now, in number four, what could it be? When employee acquired the raw material, the first word should be? When. When, excellent. Okay, so we say when, the next word. Employee, only one. Mm, employee. He, it does. When does employee, mm -hmm. uh -huh, employee, because the plural is employees, okay? Mm. So when does employee acquire, acquire excellent, uh, acquire the raw material. Material. material, material, excellent, and question mark at the end. And here you have built the questions. Why does he have a meeting? Where does she process the payments? What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? When does employee acquire the raw material? Okay. And you may add one word. When does the employee? Because it is only one to be more specific. Yeah, when does the employee acquire the raw material? And you may say, ah, uh, on Wednesday morning or on Friday evening, yeah? Remember, when we say the days of the week, we say on, okay? We use the preposition on. When does he have a meeting? On Monday morning. Where does she process the payment? And I don't know, you know, okay. What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? Mm -hmm. And you mentioned the activities. When does employee acquire the raw material? Here is about the, the day and time, okay? Questions and comments about this? About these questions? Building the questions? Let's remember, we use dance with he, she, it. We were working very deeply uh, last week. La semana pasada trabajamos bastante eso, okay? And do for I, you, we, they. You tell me when we can move to the next activity, okay? Remember to let me know when you finish. Cuando finalizan, me avisan para pasar a la siguiente actividad, okay? It is the speaking activity. Great. Okay, ready, excellent, great. And now, if you notice in exercise number six, okay? Um, I would like to have one of you as a volunteer and read the instructions, your turn. Exercise number six, what are you going to do in exercise number six? Miss Ana Veronica, are you here? Veronica, Ana Veronica, 
Are you here, Ana Veronica? Okay. Maybe um, Barbara, because we have been missing you. Miss Barbara, hello. Are you available? Hello, teacher. Okay. Would you please be so nice and read the instructions for exercise number six? Okay, here. Create blah, blah. Que, uh, que lea. Yes, please. Cre create a, a conversation with two pa pa parent? partners. Partners about their daily activities at work. Then ask a question for extra information about someone else's duties. Duties. Thank you so much. And this is what I shared previously uh, via WhatsApp and you have it here in your manual, okay? And it goes like this. Create a conversation, as your partner said, with two, two partners, two more partners. So it means you need to work in teams of three about their daily activities at work. After that, you are going to ask questions for extra information about someone else's duties. And here you have the example and you also have it via WhatsApp, okay? What do you do on weekdays? I start to work at one o'clock. I prepare the machines and blah, blah, you say the other activity. Wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, he checks once a month. And what about you? What do you do? Well, I, I check inventories, I prepare reports, I answer emails, and you use your imagination. Now here we have student A, B, and C. I need three volunteers to help me reading, please. Three volunteers to help me reading. Okay, I have here, Barbara, you're going to be letter A. David, you're going to be letter B. And let me see um, who else is gonna be here. A, B, and letter C, Ana Veronica. Ana Veronica, you're going to be letter C. <gasps> oh, okay, so sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, and let me see. So letter C is going to be I'm Vanessa. Excellent. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you again. Okay. Okay, letter A begin, please. A so yo. Yes. Mm -hmm. A. What do you do on a weekend? Weekdays. Weekdays. Emmanuel? I start to work at one o'clock. I prepare the machine yes. and... Use your imaginations and what else? I prepare the machines and... Wow. Wow, when... when... Do is your supervisor check a thing at the things you do? Actually, he checks once a month. Actually, he checks once a month. Mm -hmm. And what about you? What do you do? Well, well, I and you mentioned the activities that you do, okay? Y ahí menciona las actividades que usted hace, ¿sí? Van a, a, a practicar esta conversación, pero van a mencionar las actividades que ustedes hacen en la oficina y van a intercambiar roles, ¿sí? Todos van a jugar el rol de la letra A, todos el de la letra B y todos el de la letra C, but using your real information. ¿Is that okay? Okay, very well. I'm going to say your names to take the attendance. Okay, ready? Here we go. Mm. Ana Marlene? Present. Thank you, Miss. Ana Veronica? Here. 
uh, Ana Barbara. Present. Mm. Okay. Carlos Miguel. Present. Thank you. Clelia, Miss Clelia. Present. Uh, Daniel Alberto. Dani, are you here, Dani? No, Dani is absent. Uh, David Emanuel. Present. Filomena Luz. Present. Francisco Enrique. Francisco Enrique. Absent. Okay. Francisco Enrique Saldaña is absent at the moment. Guillermo. Present teacher. Thank you. Ivania Elizabeth. Yeah. Ivania. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very soft. Jonathan, hello. Present. Thank you. Jose Armando Pacheco. I'm here. Great, thank you. Jose Manuel Mejia. Oh, Present okay. teacher. Jose and Jose are here. Karina Vanessa. Karina Vanessa. Present, present. Thank you, Miss. Milagro Mabelin. Mabelin. Present. Thank you, Miss Mabelin, for activating your microphone. Noé. Hello, Noé. Not yet. Okay. Serafín. Yes, here you are. Here I am. Okay, thank you. William Francisco. Present. Excellent. Okay, guys, here we go. Now we're going to be transferred to the breakout room so you can practice the conversation, replacing the activities that you have in there, and you use your real information. Remember, class, in here, you're not going to say at the end, well, no, aquí tiene que agregarle la su información. Porque, and what about you? What do you do? No le dice solo well, and mute, no. Y, y tú, ¿qué es lo que haces? Bien, I, and you mention two or three activities that you do, okay? And here, you're not going to say I, and, menciona una actividad y se queda en and. No, tiene que mencionar dos actividades acá, okay? Ya. Yeah? Here we go. Y acá lo del supervisor. Uh, wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Y acá, actually, en realidad, he or she, y menciona cuando, or never, or every day, every moment, it depends, right? That they monitor your work, okay? So right now, let's move to the breakout rooms. And here we go, let's see. Okay, I have, um, okay class, listen, one group is going to have four participants because you are 16 and the other groups are going to have three participants, exactly, the people for the conversation, okay, because that is the way. Okay, so I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Okay, go to your groups and begin practicing the conversation. Go to your groups, please. Okay, Jonathan, Alexander, I need you in group number two. And Carlos Miguel, go to group number three, please. Thank you. Jonathan, Alexander, thank you. Hello. Hello, class. Here we are, Barbara, Clelia, and Guillermo. If you want to share the screen, feel free to do it, okay? Recuerden, van a sustituir esas actividades por las actividades reales de ustedes, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, let's begin. 
empezamos entonces. Yes. Eh, Vale. entonces yo sería eh, hey. Yo y ahí vi. Sí, And sería who, and who yes. is going to be letter C? Yes, Jonathan, Jonathan, sí. Jonathan, ok, y luego esperan para intercambiar y eh, al final con Verónica, ok. Este, Ok. pero hoy está como oyente porque está trabajando. Ah, ok, ok, Sí, entonces lo haríamos continue, entre ok, nosotros. ok, Yes. continue, please. Ok. Eh, what? Por ahí, eh, eh, el sí, sí sería, este, ahí pues, eh, de acuerdo a lo que responde el B, pues hay que hacer la pregunta. Ya, yeah. uh -huh. Y de ahí pues lo demás sería seguir como la corriente de, de la conversación. Okay. Entonces somos tres, ¿verdad? Entonces eh, ustedes digan ahí que quién Okay. Acá quiere le ser. voy a le voy a agregar a Noé, niños. Ok. Ustedes son, permítanme, ustedes son equipo dos. No, son el equipo tres. Esperemos a ver si Noé se puede unir. Uh -huh. Porque él estaba teniendo problemas de conexión. Ok, no está acá. Bien, entonces comiencen ustedes tres, sustituyen y al final eh, va a practicar Noé con ustedes para que eh, tome como antecedente lo que están practicando, ¿de acuerdo? Ajá, uh -huh. okay, Ok, eh, very well. Bye. José is Bruce Amon. Ahora iría William. Uh, Miren, cuando tomamos esa captura, Hans, por favor, niño. Miren, ¿cómo está? ¿Qué es lo que está pasando? ¿Qué es lo que está pasando? ¿Qué es lo que Um, the answer is the check the the answer the emails. Solo dos, verdad? Yeah. Okay. Eh, cambiamos de switch de roles. switch roles. Uh -huh. What do Switch you do roles. with days? Um. Uh I -huh. I start to work at one o'clock. A preparar the machines and no 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 ya van con sus actividades reales usen sus actividades yes ya, ya usted no comienza a trabajar a la una el sábado o el el el, 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 el los días de semana ajá qué hora comienza a estar tu workout después y menciona sus actividades no a qué hora comienza a trabajar usted Ajá, ahí está tu work at 8 o'clock y menciona las actividades que haces. Okay. Ajá. Repeat. Ok, let's begin. Okay. What do you do on weekdays? I start to work at eight o'clock. Ajá. I check uh, the emails. Ajá. And uh, drive drive cars institutional. I drive And the institutional car. ¿Y, ¿Y para qué maneja el carro? ¿Qué diligencia hace? is uh, visit the customers. I visit the customers. I visit Okay. customers. And, and visit the customers. And that's it. And visit the customers. Okay. Okay. Very visit well. the customer. Okay. Okay. Luis. José. José. José, perdón, José. <ríe> siempre, me, siempre me dicen Luis. <ríe> José Luis. Oh, eh, wow, when does eh, your supervisor Okay. eh, shall take time you do? All the things you do. All the things. 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 Things you do. Say all the things you do. Actuality, he checks on amounts.
And what about you? What do you do? Jose? Well, I generate report and check check email. Very well. Now remember, we say actually, not actuality, no, actually. Actually means en realidad, en efecto de hecho. No significa actualmente. Actually, actually. He actually. checks here once a month. Una vez al mes. Una vez al mes le supervisan sus actividades. Aquí tiene que ser realmente every day, every week. Every day, okay. weekend. Week. Okay. Every week, depende. Ok, porque es la realidad. Okay. Now switch roles. Ok. Ahora va. Now who en starts? Bien, la... sí. 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 uh -huh. sí. Ok. You begin, Serafín. You begin. Vegetal. Um, I check emails and training a farming. Okay. Yo creo que los tres fuimos a B y C. Sí. Seguimos. Los participaron ya. Sí. Okay. Todos fuimos una, una letra. Ya, ya, ya todos eh, intercambiaron roles con sus actividades. Yes. Ya. Yes. Ok, yes. excelente. Very well. Now begin asking questions with what time do you. Ahora comiencen a ustedes a generar preguntas ya adelantándonos a la siguiente actividad, ¿verdad? En lo que monitoreo los otros grupos. What time do you? What time do you, for example, what time do you get to work? What time do you? Mm, Do you get up? What time do you have lunch? What time do you have a meeting? What time do you uh, visit customers? What time do you supervise the projects? Or depending on the nature of your occupation, okay? Dependiendo de la naturaleza de su puesto de trabajo. Sí. Okay. Sí. Okay, great. I'll be back. Ya regreso. I start to, I, I start to work at one o'clock. I prepare the machine and I test the computer system. Wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, he checks one once a month. And what about you? What do you do? Well, I make a report review documents, visit client, attend medium. Hospital service. Okay, very well. Um, um, okay, vamos. Eh, Como no es, sería entonces. Eh, no, pero Vanessa, para que darle chance a no, el little B, Vanessa. You, okay. you little B, okay. What do you do on the weekdays? Oh, no, si quieres ser el libro. Ah, no es. Perdón, este. Ahora la, la voy a dejar ya. Dejaría okay. la B. Yo podría dejar la B. But what do you do on weekdays? I start to work at 11 o'clock. I Ahora... make the inventory. I turn on the computer. Wow. With us, your supervisor check all the things you do. Actually, the check. Okay. Uh, what, uh, what do you do on weekend, weekday? I start to work at uh, eight o'clock. I check my emails, um, uh, visit or uh, visit the customers. Wow! When does your supervisor check all the things you do? 
Actually, he checked in one one week. And what um, about and what about you? What do you do? Well, I check GPS and I organize meetings. Very well. Organize meetings. Organize, organize meetings. And here once a month. Once a week, once a year. Okay, once. repeat after me, Serafin. Once, once, once actually. a week. Actually, actually, okay, actually, he checks once, yes, okay. once, once a week, once a month. And now, uh, repeat after me, Serafin. When does your supervisor? When mm. does your supervisor? When does supervisor? No, when does when, when, when does your su when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Check all the things you do. Actually, actually, he checks. He checks once a month. Once a month. Okay, very well. Actually, and Ivania uh, supervises. Come on, come on, okay? <laughs> he supervises. She supervises. I supervise, okay? Supervise. Okay, did all of you play the different roles? Yes. Okay, so you are done, yes? Yes. Okay, now let's get back to the main session room. Okay. Yeah, congratulations. A okay. practice makes perfect. Thank you. Here we go. Very well. Step by step, poquito a poquito, pero perdiendo el miedo, ¿verdad? No matter if we make a mistake, we are here to correct our mistakes, okay? Let's get back. Very well done, class. The only thing that I need to remind you is about supervisor once a month, once a week, or every day. But remember that here, you need to use your real information. I start to work at 7 a.m. at 7 p.m at eight o'clock in the morning, it could be, or at nine o'clock, right? It is according to your information, okay? And you describe the duties that you perform. And now here we go. Where do you work? Here, we're going to be working at page 33, okay? Look at this agenda. Read Mrs. Robles' agenda and tell a partner at what time she does some activities. But here we go. Activity number one, ask a classmate the exact time that he or she does some activities or at work, okay? So let's build some questions over here. What time do you? ¿Cuáles serían las actividades más comunes que podríamos preguntarle a nuestros compañeros? Okay, let's begin generating those questions here. Five questions. De actividades que realizamos normalmente en el trabajo. What time do you? Todas comenzarán con what time do you? What time do you? Okay. What time do you start to work? Start to work. Okay, very well. Now, number two, what could it be? ¿Cuál podría what, ser? Yes. What time do you check emails? What time do you check emails? Yeah. Another one. What could be question number three? What, what time, time do you... Okay, Carlos and later Jonathan, or Jonathan and Carlos. Jonathan, what time? What time do you 
estoy confuso ahí si es drink o take coffee. Okay, or do you have a, a, a coffee break? Mm, okay. uh -huh. Do you? Sí, porque eh, in some companies you cannot be uh, drinking mm, in front of okay. the customers. Yeah, do you yeah. have uh, a, uh, a coffee break? Okay. Uh, the, the time for you, yeah? Thank you. And Carlos, your question? What time do you make your lunch? What time do you make or do you have? Do you do you have have your lunch? Do you have lunch? To have lunch. Do, do you have lunch? Okay, one more question. Yes, Serafin, tell me. Question number five. What time do your business close? Uh -huh. what time? What time do you? Do you? La company, ¿a qué va a cerrar la empresa? Close. Ah, do you oh. know? Does your company? Does, does, does company close? No, does your company uh, close? Close. Okay, very well. It never closes, nunca cierra, because they have different uh, shifts like in the call centers yes they are always open right 24 7 all the year okay what time no do you leave work day. okay what time what time do you leave uh work yeah another one is there another one Someone else? What time? What time? Do you revit document? Do you uh revive re document? Review. Re review. Do you check check documents? Okay. So let's go over. And you may somebody may tell you, no, I never. I never check documents porque no es mi función revisar documentos. Okay? I write maybe. Yes? La diferencia entre review and check. Es que en inglés review es repasar. ¿Sí? Oh. Check es revisar, verificar. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. ok. Por eso, así okay. no es el feedback, así no es el feedback, es a review. Repaso. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Now, um, I don't know if you're going to take a, a screenshot. Okay, because you're going to, because I don't know if I can. No, I cannot share it. I cannot share them. Okay, take a screenshot and get ready to go to the breakout rooms in order to practice asking and answering the questions, okay? Take a screenshot, please. I don't know if someone shared it already. Let me see. Ay. Uy. Ah, many of you, congratulations. Ya comenzó la mala. Okay, Mr. Pacheco. Okay, great. Are you back, Mr. Pacheco? Yes, I am back. Okay, great, excellent. Because now we're going to move to the breakout rooms, okay? In order to ask and answer the questions, remember to take turns. Try to, so everybody can have the chance to ask. Vamos a tomar nuestro tiempo para tener la oportunidad que todos practiquen las preguntas. Yes, Miss, tell me. Okay. En esas mismas preguntas nos las vamos a, a, yes. a yes. hacer y a responder. Así yes. Mm -hmm. I ask way. Jonathan, Jonathan ask Carlos Miguel, Carlos Miguel ask me the questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to open the breakout rooms right now. Okay. Go to your groups, please. 
go to your groups, go to your groups. Ya lo agrego, Mr. Pacheco. Lo voy a agregar al equipo 3 porque ahí alguien le está fallando la conexión. Okay. Le llegó la invitación, group number 3, José. José Pacheco. Equipo 3. Ok, thank you. Ok. Ok, ok, ok. What time? Um, Vanessa, what time do you start to work? Sería. Uh, I do. No, I start to work. I start to work. At. I start to work. Uh huh. ¿A qué horas inicio mi trabajo? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Eh, sería a 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock. I start to work at 7 o'clock. Ok. What time do you check emails? José Pacheco es parte del equipo, ok. Ok. Bye. Continue, Bye. please. Sorry for the interruption. Okay. What time, what time have lunch? Do you have lunch? What time have, have lunch? I have a lunch at 20 o'clock. A la 20. No, es que tuve, ahí estaba eh, dudando 12. 20. At 12, no, at 12 o'clock or at noon. You have two possibilities. Exactly at 12, you say at noon. Okay. At Over noon. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Okay. At noon. A las 12 del mediodía. At noon. Al mediodía. Por eso a la una es afternoon. Después de las 12, at noon. Okay. Ah. Y en la noche, a medianoche, para diferenciar las 12 del mediodía, es at noon. Y tenemos at midnight. Midnight. Ok, medianoche. medianoche. Ajá. medianoche. Entonces, 12 del mediodía, at noon, at midnight. Ok. 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 Vale, so, continue, please. What time does your company close? At... A close company. The company is, closes at. A company. Mm -hmm. Close at. Clo 40. Or four? No, four. At four. At four o'clock. At four o'clock. Ok. The company closes at four o'clock. Como es la compañía, tercera persona de singular, si la va a dar la respuesta correcta, completa, perdón. Ay. That would be the company, the company closes at four o'clock. Teacher, aquí sí se puede uh -huh. decir four. Se puede sí, decir. Porque, sí, porque son las cuatro, at four o'clock, uh -huh. a las cuatro en punto. Se entiende okay. que es de la tarde, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Sí, porque, porque no va a cerrar a las cuatro de la mañana. Ok. Uy, the company closes at four o'clock. Fíjense que acá le agregamos S porque el sujeto es singular, the company. Si sustituimos the company, decimos it closes. Pero usted puede usar respuesta corta y decir at four o'clock. Yes? Oh. And there is no problem. Y acá es con full answer. Ok, respuesta completa. Full okay. answer. Ok. Okay. Okay, continue please. What time do you leave work? Repítamelo, por favor. What time do you leave work? No lo entiendo. ¿A qué horas? Sale del trabajo, sale del trabajo, leave. 
live, no vivir, live, salir, dejar, abandonar, live. I live, work, work at four, four o'clock, four o'clock. Okay. Okay. What time do you check the Sierra? Um, My company. The, co the company is closed. Closes at. Closes at. Uh -huh. At four o'clock, at five o'clock, at mm -hmm. three thirty. Okay. Teacher, in the case of the question five, este, eh, le hacía la pregunta a la compañera. Es necesario que yo ponga my dust company. My dust, dust company. No, no, no tiene no, que no, usar. No. Cuando es afirmativa, no usamos modal auxiliar. ¿Y recuerdan? Entonces, okay. como la compañía en la que yo trabajo. Eh, no es mía, ¿verdad? Entonces, se entiende que tu compañía, porque es donde yo trabajo. Entonces, we say, the company closes at, ¿ok? Or it closes at, okay. and you complete. Le agregamos, fíjense, les puse the company it porque es tercera persona de singular. Agregamos ese al verbo, sí. Y como es afirmativa la oración, no necesitamos das porque el verbo sufre cambio. Si es negativa, sí, porque doesn't close. ¿Okay? Pero eso sería otro tipo de pregunta que más adelante vamos a ver, ¿de acuerdo? Acá está Noé para que participe con ustedes, chicos. Porque okay. Hay un problema. Ok, okay. okay. okay Noé, welcome, welcome. Okay. welcome. Welcome. Good evening. Or good evening, Noé. <laughs> good, good evening. evening. Ok, continue Hola. with your activity, guys. I'm going to continue monitoring. Ok, bye. Thank you. Okay. Thank, bye. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Bye. Ok, okay. Eh, no, Noé, este, Noé, ¿verdad? Yeah. Sí. What time do you start to work? I start work. I start uh, my work in the seven o'clock p.m. Okay. What time do you check emails? Uh, I uh, I check emails nine o'clock. At nine o'clock. Eh, y la en la entre, entre, anterior Carlos contestó in. Cuando dijo la hora, recuerde, es at, cuando es hora exacta. At, okay? ah. at seven o'clock, at seven and a quarter, at 8 p.m., at noon, at midnight, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Y cuando es, Thank you. Eh, por ejemplo, a las cuatro y media o a las... At, at four thirty, at four thirty. At four thirty, ok. Usamos in cuando decimos in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Pero para las horas es at. Ok. At five and a quarter, for example. Ok, continue. What time do you have a coffee break? Or do you take a coffee break? Uh, I have a coffee break at three o'clock. Wow. Uh, what time have lunch? Um, uh, I have lunch. Uh, But I have lunch. Sí, pero Filomena me va preguntando por la tres. Bye. Bye. What time do you have a coffee break? I have my coffee break at 3 and 30 p.m. No le, no la anoté. What time have lunch? Teacher. No, 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 no. En la tres la su respuesta. Es que no la anoté. I, I have my coffee break at 3.30 p.m. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. 3.30. Teacher, 
Yes, Liz. Yes, tell me. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es la diferencia cuando decimos um, o'clock en p.m. o a.m.? A.m. igual que en ah, español en la mañana. Ajá, ajá. Y Hasta el mediodía, ajá. después del mediodía, ajá. ajá pero, pero cuando decimos, permítame, decimos o'clock para la hora <coughs> exacta. Puede uh -huh. ser en la mañana, en la tarde o en la noche, ¿sí? Pero si pero, decimos at 8 a.m. es en la mañana. Ajá. Pero o'clock solo es para las horas exactas. Sí, no para usted puede decir. No. Ah, ¿cómo no? At sí. 7 seri. Ah, ok. Pero fíjese bien, o'clock no va a decir at 7 seri o'clock, no. At 7 seri. Y le puede agregar a.m. o p.m. Pero para las horas exactas del reloj, at 11 o'clock, at 9 o'clock, at 7 o'clock, at 5 o'clock, at 1 o'clock. Yes? Okay. Uh -huh. A la hora en puntito quiere decir o'clock. Okay? Okay. ok. ok. Thank you. Ok, iría por Bye. la cuarta pregunta. No, 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 four. Ok. What time have lunch? Do you have lunch? Ay, no lo noté entonces. Tú, <risa> Pero ahí la tiene en la imagen. Well, sí. <risa> yes. ¿Cómo funciona lo de, lo de las horas? O sea, para... Ajá, uh -huh. at 7 o'clock, 7 en punto. A.M. Yeah. in the morning. P.M. en la tarde o en la noche. Okay. ¿Y por qué tenemos acá? Mire. Eh, okay. If we say here at noon, at noon, al mediodía, eso es lo que nos marca. Entonces ya la una es PM, por eso decimos afternoon, después del mediodía, ¿sí? Y obviamente tenemos AM. Antes del mediodía, igual que en español, ¿sí? Antes del mediodía, ¿sí? Okay. Pero vamos a decir así, miren. At seven um, o'clock. A las siete en punto. At seven. Um, at seven fifteen. Or at seven and a quarter, yeah? PM or AM. Pero cuando decimos o'clock, no vamos a decir ni AM. Usualmente decimos at seven o'clock. Puede ser de la mañana o de la tarde, pero una cosita acá era donde no se puede decir at seven fifteen o'clock, no. Porque vamos a usar o'clock solo cuando la hora es exacta, ¿sí? No cuando lleva minutos. Ok. Ah, ok. Ok. Pero, pero Serafín preguntaba, digamos, así como dijo usted, para decir, es seven o'clock, ¿cómo sabemos si es de la mañana o de la ah, tarde? Ah, perdón, ahí sí puede decir eh, a.m. o p.m. Ah, ok. Sí. At, okay. Me dice at nine o'clock. Mm. Sí. O'clock eh, PM. Ok. okay. Para hacer énfasis. Pero no, no podemos decir at 9:20 o'clock. No. Okay. We cannot say that. O'clock eh, AM. No. Solo decimos at 9:20 AM. Or at 9.20, porque o'clock lo utilizamos solo para las horas exactas, exact hours, ¿ok? Ok. 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 Did you finish asking and answering? Yes. Yes. ¿Terminaron? Ok, sí, porque ahora finish. van a realizar una agenda. Here we go. Ok, let's get back to the main session room then. Ustedes, porque fíjense que como eh, se les va y se les viene el, el, el internet, ¿verdad? Algunos equipos están con tres, otros con cuatro, otros con cinco, así. Pero ustedes, si los que se han mantenido los tres, eh, terminaron ya. 
Okay, but it's time okay. to get back. So here we go. I'm going to close. Okay. Let's get back. In the next activity, we're going to check the exact hours and with minutes. And if it is a.m. or p.m., yeah? That is why we're going to check Mrs. Robles' agenda right now. But let's wait for the partners. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> David, Emmanuel, Jonathan, uh, Madeline, and Noah are still in the group. And Filomena Luz, she's in her way back. Ya viene. Let's wait for a while for them, class. They are still practicing. They're back. Okay. Let me see. Yes. Everybody's back. Y al final unos equipos quedaron de cinco. Cuando coming and going. Okay. So here we go and I'm going to clarify a doubt that some of you ask me here. Let's read Mrs. Robles' agenda and tell a partner at what time she does some activities. A que hora ella hace ciertas actividades. Mrs. Robles' agenda. Here you have seven and a quarter, eight thirty, nine o'clock, noon or twelve o'clock, one forty-five, five fifty-five. Let's remember that we say nine o'clock, twelve o'clock or noon, but we don't say 8.30 o'clock. No, that is not correct. You can say 8.30, 8 uh, and a half, or 8 and 30 minutes, and you can say a.m. or p.m., but you cannot say um, 8.30 o'clock. No, that is not correct. You cannot say 7 and a quarter o'clock. No. 7 and 15 a.m. Or you may say 5.55 p.m. Or 5 to 6 p.m. Yes, pero no podemos decir 5 to 6 o'clock, no. Solo para las horas exactas utilizamos o'clock. And here I'm going to write that we say at noon, okay? Al mediodía, at midnight, yes, a medianoche. And remember that we say also in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at night, okay? En la noche, ya. Yeah? Okay, so here you have these expressions. We say at noon, at midnight, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Okay. Y recuerden que comenzamos a utilizar in the evening at about 4, from 4 p.m. till midnight. Desde las 4 en adelante hasta la medianoche. Y recordemos, when you arrive to a place, you say, good evening, no matter if it is eight o'clock, nine o'clock, uh, in the evening, okay? En la noche, si son las diez u once de la noche, decimos, good evening, porque decimos, uh, good night, okay? When it is very late at night and as a farewell. We say, good evening, cuando llegamos a un lugar, ¿sí? Restaurante, Especial. lugar de reunión o en la casa. Good evening. No decimos good night. Literal, como decimos, no. Decimos good evening. Okay. Teacher. Yes, yes, tell me. Teacher, una, una pregunta. ¿Es correcto decir eh, para las horas exactas agregar adicionalmente a o'clock en la terminología PM o AM? It could be. To, to be clearer, para estar más claros, to make more emphasis. 
to be more okay. emphatic, para hacer más énfasis, si se puede agregar, no hay problema. Lo que sí no se okay. puede es agregar o clock cuando la hora es con minutos, ¿sí? Ok, Ay, muchas gracias. Yes. Ok, so here we say seven and a quarter, eight thirty, nine o'clock in the morning or nine a.m. or nine o'clock at noon, one forty-five. 5.55 or 5 to 6, okay? And you have here the activities. I am not going to read because it is your task, your duty. Es su actividad. Read Mrs. Robles' agenda. She is Mrs. Robles. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Robles. And this is her agenda, okay? When you read the activities that she does at work and the time, okay? that uh, workshops lunch. Acá es el almuerzo que va a tener en un taller, ¿verdad? De trabajo, obviamente. And then here, I'm telling you that you need to read and analyze the information in her agenda because it's going to be useful for you in activity three. You are going to read the information again to answer the questions and compare with a partner, okay? What time is the video call with the West Company? And then you write here the answer. What time does the workshop with the research department start? What time does the company close, okay? So you're going to analyze this information and you are going to write the answers to these three questions in teams. Is it clear? Estamos claros sobre las actividades a realizar. Yes. 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 Okay. And that is at page 33. Um, I don't know if uh, someone is going to okay to take up. Okay. Are you going to take a screenshot of this information? I'm going to move it right here so you don't get this. Ah. Ah, I need to take it out. Okay, here. Hey. Okay, here with the instruction. This is correct, okay? If you want to take a screenshot, take a screenshot. And now, here. Para que les salga completa la información. Ay. Okay. This one. Toma un screenshot de esta parte. Ready? Ready, yeah. Okay, here we go. Sí, porque si no les iba a salir montado lo otro y ya ahí se los compartieron. Okay, great. Now let's move, but I'm going to hmm, recreate the groups because in the last activity I have, well, here we go. I'm going to transfer some of you because there are too many in some groups. Okay, go to your groups, please. Go to your groups. And begin working. Veamos cuántos están conectados. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, three, three. Okay. Question. What? Ah. ¿Cómo fue? Tienen que analizar la, la agenda, ¿verdad? Leer entre todas las actividades que ella realiza a determinada hora. ¿Yes? Ajá. Ajá. Okay. Y luego contesta. Ah, ok. Ok. Uy, perdón. Seven fifteen, okay. ¿verdad? Seven fifteen. Uh -huh. 7.15, meeting video call, video call with um, the, the West company, company. The West Company. At the West Company. Company, no, it's, it's uh, 8.30. 8 
Hey, Feri. Hey, Feri. Hey, Feri, Feri. Miren quién hey. estaba con ustedes, chicos. Vanessa, pero se fue. Ah, Vanessa, ah, pero se estaba fue. Estaba perdiendo. La... Ok, cuando regrese se las comparto. Ok, okay. vamos bien ahí. Eh, vamos bien. Uh, let me see. Ya leyeron todas las actividades. What time is the video call with the West Company? The video call, the video call. Okay, porque ah. acá dice the video call. The video call with the West Company. Is at, is at 8.30. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Acá que oh. es Vanessa. Ustedes oh, están okay. She's coming back. Okay. Uh, what time does the workshop why the research department starts? Start? Um, eh, no pudo ingresar Vanessa. Mm. Le está fallando la conexión porque ya le di ingreso, chicos. What time workshop does the workshop? Ah, she, she's back. Does the workshop. Uh, uh, the part, no. Welcome, uh, Vanessa. It's yeah. workshop the research. Aquí está. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, porque habla de las video calls with the supervisor from the West Company. Dice la 8 y 30. Ajá. Uh -huh. Five fifty five six tomorrow is sure to miss Lopez, new secretary, and leave. Then tomorrow's schedule to miss Lopez, new secretary, and leave. Schedule. 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 Uh -huh. schedule. Since, since tomorrow's schedule to mm. miss Lopez. Send tomorrow's. Send yes. tomorrow's. Uh huh. Okay. Schedule, como sketch, verdad? Schedule. <laughs> to Miss Lopez, sí, verdad? Schedule. Okay. Y cinco y cinco cincuenta y cinco es five. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Or five, five. Or five to six. Five to six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's say. Since tomorrow's schedule to Miss Lopez, new secretary and leave. Ah, pero cómo okay. se dice si si fue si va entre paréntesis no se le. Uh, and leave and leave no because that is extra information. Ah, okay. Okay. Y que no, y recuerden lo que se eh, escribe entre paréntesis puede estar o no puede estar es información extra uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. and leave ahí hacen énfasis quién es Mrs. López the new secretary ok, okay. begin answering please ok um, what time is the video call with the with West company? company video call she Eight. It is, or the video call is, no, porque me están poniendo she. Ah, what, espérame. El what sujeto time? de la oración es video call. Video call. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Video. The video call. The video call is. Is at. At eight thirty. Mm -hmm. Eight thirty. A.M. Mm -hmm. okay. Very well. Okay. Why? What time does okay. the workshop? Why the research department start? Work. Workshop. Workshop. Night. The. So the question is, 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 is at night. I am. I am. Solo que quizás la próxima por cualquier cosa, verdad que la puede tomar como mala si lo dejamos unido a m. Como sea así. 
Ajá. No, o sea, de, separado del cero, la A. La plataforma. Uh -huh, la Ajá. plataforma. Podría darnos malo la, la respuesta. Sí, si en, la la plataforma, así. en la plataforma, sí. Ajá, ah, ok. Dar, de, es de darle espacio. A.m. A. Point M. Period. Period. Uh -huh. Period. 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 Es lo que le preguntó David. Uh -huh. Sí lo puedo poner. Pongamos. Piché, ¿qué dice la, la segunda pregunta? The second question, ok. What time does the workshop with the research department start? El taller con el departamento de investigación inicia. ¿A qué hora? Uh -huh. Workshop es taller, ¿verdad? Como taller de capacitación, entrenamiento, okay, o estudio, uh -huh. the workshop. Uh -huh. O capacitación también. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the answer for number two is? ¿Qué horas tenemos? La respuesta para la número dos, ¿cuál es? What is the answer for question number two? What time does the workshop Nine. with the research department start? Uh -huh. It starts at? Night. It starts okay. at nine o'clock or nine. it starts at nine a.m. or at nine, at nine a.m. Okay, or at nine o'clock. No problem. So you have the three answers. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So I think we can get back. I know. I know. I know. Vea el equipo cinco. Equipo tres. Okay. So I think that it is time to get back to the main session room and standardize the answers, okay? In order to check if all the groups have the same potential answers. Here we go. I'm going to close. Let's get back. Now we're going to standardize the answers, okay? We're going to double check the answers for the three questions based on the information in the agenda. Jose Pacheco is still in his way back, okay? Here he's coming. Okay, class. So I need a volunteer class in order to help me reading Mrs. Robles' agenda, okay? 7.15, meeting with the marketing department. 8.30, video call with the supervisor from West Company. 9 uh, o'clock, workshop 
to their research and development, development department to improve the manufacturing process. At noon, workshops lunch. 1.45 p.m., second part of the workshop. Five to six, send tomorrow's schedule to Ms. Lopez, the new secretary, and Lee. Okay, who wants to help me reading? Que me va a ayudar a leer? Only one volunteer. You have to read. Okay, you have to practice. I don't have to practice. You have to practice. Okay, I'm going to ask one of you over here. Maybe Jonathan. Where are you, Jonathan? Jonathan, knock, knock. Are you here, Jonathan? Your microphone? Because I don't listen to you. Hmm. And I was thinking that oh. you couldn't listen. Okay, <laughs> help me reading uh, Mrs. Robles' agenda, please. Okay. Okay, it's, go ahead. Uh, uh, 7, 17. 15? Sorry, 7.15 meeting with the marketing department. Uh, 8. 8.30? video call with the supervisor from West Company. Uh, night of love. A workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. At the 12 o'clock, workshop lunch. Uh, one uh, for, 45. For 45, second part of the workshop. Uh, 555. Yes. Yes. Five fifty five. Five fifty five. Send tomorrow schedule to Miss Lopez. New secretary. And leave. And leave. Okay. Very well. Now I ask you, class. What time is the video call with the West Company? What time is it? At nine o'clock. It is at nine o'clock. Yes, o'clock. Or the video conference is with the West Company is at nine o'clock, yeah? Or at nine o'clock. Now, question number two. What time does the workshop with the research department start? The answer is someone Give me the answer. We, we have a one error here, eight and sorry, at the first. At first. Ah, oh, yeah, because it is the 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 eight thirty a.m. Yeah, because it is, it is the the uh -huh, it is the 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 workshop. Yeah. So yeah. we just put it like this. Yes. <laughs> is it? Yes. <laughs> At so, okay, so the video uh, call, to be more specific, the video call with the West, full answer with the West company uh -huh. is uh, at 830. A.M. A.M. Yes. We, yeah, I'm going to <laughs> because of the mouse. A.M. Very well. Okay. Now, number three. What time does the company close? The answer it is 5.55 p.m. The company closes at 5.55 p.m. Or another possibility, it closes at 5.55 p.m. Yeah. Is that okay? 
the company can be replaced by it. And because we have all these, if you notice all these answers, todas estas respuestas son afirmativas. And here the video call with the West Company is, el verbo es is, por lo tanto no utilizamos ningún otro modal auxiliar y porque no se utiliza y no, el verbo no se le hace ningún cambio porque ya sufre cambio con su conjugación. Video call, it, ya. Yeah. Uh, uh, the workshop, it. And the company closes at, el sujeto es también it, or the company. Is that okay? Questions or comments about these answers? Okay, now here we go. What time? This is the time for you to shine. But before you shine, I'm going to take the attendance for the second chance. Porque luego vamos a pasar ya al trabajo práctico, a la construcción. So here, Ana Marlene, are you here? Yes, Ana Marlene. Here, right. Okay. Ana Verónica, are you here? Ana Verónica. Oh, yeah. Wow, Ana Verónica, nice to see you. Okay, activate the microphone and say hello to everyone. Present, present. Okay, great. Nice to listen to your musical voice. Barbara, where are you? Pres present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Carlos Miguel. Present. Thank you for being very responsible. Clelia, where are you? Present. Thank you, Miss Clelia. Danny was absent today, unfortunately, right? And uh, David Emanuel? Present. Okay, very responsible, always. Filomena Luz? Present. Thank you. Francisco Enrique Saldaña, absent, yeah? Only at the beginning was here. Al inicio estuvo, ¿verdad? Pero luego perdió la conexión. Okay. Um, Francisco Enrique. Uh, Guillermo. Present teacher. Thank you. Ivania. Here I am. Thank you, Miss. Jonathan. Here I am. Jose Armando. I'm here. Jose Manuel Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Vanessa, Karina Vanessa. Núñez, Miss Núñez. Thank you, Miss Núñez. Milagro, Mabelin Barraza. Present. Noé. Present. Oh, you're here. Okay. Thank you, Noé. Serafín. Always here, very responsive. Present. Thank you. William Francisco. William, where are you? Present. Thank you, William. And, okay, only absent today, Danny and Francisco Enrique. Okay, here we go. Now, what are you going to do? Because now you have a lot of experience class asking what time do you, what time do you, okay? And here we go. Mm. Pay close attention to what I'm going to tell you. Mr. Pacheco is here. Okay, here, how to use questions with what time? I already told you at the beginning and I share with you via WhatsApp the structure. What time and the potential answer. What time is it? It's one oh eight or it's one eight. It's one and eight. You may read it like that. What time does the meeting start? It starts at seven o'clock. We say at seven o'clock. Okay, es otra forma de decir la hora. At, para la hora exacta, o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? About 6.48 a.m. Or at about 6.48 a.m. Puede acá, es opcional utilizar at, at about, or only about. Pero en la anterior, sí es necesario utilizar at, porque es la hora exacta, at 11 o'clock. 
what time do employees leave? Usually around 7 or 7.30. You may read usually around 7 o'clock or 7.30, okay? And you may say p.m. because what time do employees leave? ¿A qué hora se van los empleados? Usually, usualmente, around 7 or 7.30 p.m. Or 7 o'clock or 7.30 p.m., okay? Questions about this? Utilizamos a cuando es la hora exacta, okay? And you may say a.m. in the morning, p.m., in the afternoon or at night. Y ya les expliqué, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Now let's complete the questions using what time and do or does. Okay, for this one, and you are going to create your schedule with the things that you have to do during the week. Then go around the class and check other partners' schedule and ask the time about their activities. So here we go. Let's try to do this exercise number five together. And later you're going to work individually, but also in groups, activity number six. So class here, let's complete the questions using what time, do or does. Let's analyze the short conversations. You have one, two, three, and four, very short conversation. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? Here? What is the potential answer uh, to complete expression, to complete this question? Really? En serio? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Here, what time? What time? Do or does? Does. Does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. and you have the complete conversation, okay? Now, number two. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great, fabulous. So here the question should be, ¿Cuál es la expresión que vamos a utilizar? What time? what time do you arrive? All right. What time do you do you arrive? I arrive at 8 15 a.m. Now, number three, the short conversation. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. The photocopy center open. It opens at a at 6 50 a.m. So me too. The question should be. Okay, what time do the copy center or does the copy center? Does. Does, does the copy center? Does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6.50 a.m. What about number four? Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but the question what should time? be, okay, great, but what time? Does pressure close the here? Uh, say that again, please. What time does restaurant close here? No. No, that's do? Because, do, because restaurants, plural. Ah, plural, uh -huh. yeah. Excellent, yeah. But what time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7.25 p.m., yeah? And the last one, Amanda. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday and the question is? What time do? Excellent, because it is day and we, what time? What time do they open? Yes. What time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 
eight five. Yeah. So here I'm going to ask two volunteers for conversation number one. Uh, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Microphone. Jonathan, you are letter A and Hello. Ivania, you are letter B. Conversation one. You begin, Jonathan. Okay. Okay, there, begin. There, there is a recruitment of new employees on Thursday. Really? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Excellent. Very well. Congratulations. Now, conversation number two. Carlos? Carlos, are you here? I am here. Okay, you are letter A. And your partner is Clelia. Clelia, you are letter B. Clelia? Clelia? Hello? You are letter B in conversation okay. two. Begin, Carlos. Let's meet for the meeting of Wednesday. Wait, what time do you arrive? I arrive at a, 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 a 15 a.m. 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 Great, great. What time do you arrive? Arrive. I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Okay, now number three. Mr. Pacheco, are you here? Jose Pacheco? Yes. Okay, conversation three. You are letter A and letter B is Marlene. Ana Marlene? Yes. You are B. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6 15 and I am. Okay, very well. Now conversation number four. Conversation number four goes to uh, let me see. Barbara. Hello. Okay, Barbara, you are later. A, a in conversation five, okay? And David Emanuel, you are letter B. Okay. ¿Cómo se llama? El, el... A, a David Emanuel. Ah, okay. But David... you have to say, no, Amanda has to take some porque están hablando de alguien más. Ah, okay. Okay. Dice, Wendy, Amanda, no. Amanda. Amanda, it is number Amanda five. five. Uh -huh. Amanda has to take some reports to make too the many. Paper. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Many departments, many departments. Many departments on Monday. And what time do they open? They open. Iron seven thirty seven thirty thirty or eighteen five. eight no eighteen no eighteen at the eight eight five five eight five very well okay class now what you are going to do is you create your schedule with all the things that you have to do during the week. <laughs> Then go around the classroom and check other partners' schedule, okay? So do you remember, because it is uh, similar to this one, but for example, for um, okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Saturday, if you work on Saturday, right? Okay, but the highlight activity is not everything. Van a crear a su agenda su horario here okay create your schedule su horario with the things that you have to do during the week durante la semana do you remember that probably this is going to be useful for you guys um if you remember here at page 21 do you remember that you have monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday 
and probably Saturday. Para quienes trabajan sábado en sábado, okay? And you write here the activities that you have to do, okay? Yes, but you have to add the time, pero tienen que agregarle el tiempo. Similar to Mrs. Robles' agendas, okay? En la actividad que hicimos, que hicieron ustedes, el de Katie y el de ustedes, solo escribieron las actividades, pero ahora le vamos a agregar el periodo de tiempo. What time do you? Okay, what time do you um, check emails? What time do you uh, turn on the computer, for example? Yo les voy a preguntar y usted me va a decir porque ya va a tener su agenda y va a tener su hora en la que realice esa actividad. ¿Is that okay? Okay. Si ¿Sí comprendimos. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, okay, very well, very well. Comenzamos a crear nuestra agenda. Uh, do you feel better if you work in your teams or working individually? Se siente mejor trabajando en equipos o individual? Like here. Okay, don't answer too much. No me contesten mucho, please. En equipo. <laughs> okay, I want to send you the last five minutes, okay? To your groups. And so you can compare also. Here we go, the invitations are opened. Go to your groups, please. Hmm. No, uh, Noe, go to group number three, please. Vanessa, join your group. Jonathan, okay. Jonathan, we need you in group number two. Jonathan, please, group number two. Jonathan, your team is waiting for you. Jonathan. Dije que lo hiciéramos ahora también. Okay. Yes, with the time. Because, porque luego le va a preguntar, what time do you? A qué hora y la actividad que realizan, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. Cinco actividades, teacher. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Everything okay? Or do you need any help? Necesitan alguna ayuda? No. Ah, ahorita estamos. Okay, great, great. Thank <laughs> you. 
Richard, ahí se ve que precisamente todos los días de la semana somos lo mismo. Um, bueno, entonces dos es que para, para mí, dos para actividades. mí lo único. Ajá. Uh -huh. Para mí lo único que cambia es el día de descanso porque me queda, uh, me cambia cada semana. Y yo trabajo sábado y domingo también. Me día el día de semana, pero es uno diferente cada, cada semana. Um, lo que puede hacer es que puede poner actividades diferentes, eh, pero eh, en las actividades diferentes. Este día, ajá, para sí. que no repita lo mismo, sí. Y como es la hora, ¿verdad? También, no hay okay. problema, ok. Ok. Monday. Okay. Coffee break. Um, a las cuatro. Yo no sé cómo son, eran tres por, por día de que íbamos a poner. Cierre. Close. <laughs> Close. Close. <laughs> Closes, closes. Tres actividades por día, teacher. Ajá, uh ya. -huh, yeah. Yeah, because usually you have the same routine. Yes. Okay. Agent. Yeah. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Okay. And last. Porque esas, esas son las mías, ya no checa órdenes o sí. Esas no hay que preguntar, la verdad, Tiche, nosotros. No, no, ¿verdad? luego, no, deben de tener las listas porque luego viene esa dinámica, ¿ok? Ah, ah okay. ok. Pero ya tienen sus actividades. Sí, ya. Yes. Ah, ok, yes. great, excelente. Then let's get back. <clears throat> okay, class, listen to me, please. Because of the time tomorrow, I need you to keep, if you didn't finish all the activities by any reason, si no terminaron las actividades por alguna razón, este listado de actividades, your duties at work with the specific time that you perform them, con la hora exacta en la que las realizan, we're going to review them tomorrow as part of the feedback. Okay, como parte de la retroalimentación mañana, del repaso. And remember, if you have the same daily routine, you can split and share the different duties that you perform at work in the different days. Okay? Las actividades las comparten eh, diarias, two or three on Monday, other two on Tuesday, and so on, but with the specific time. And let's see, what did we practice today? Did we practice, uh, let's see, let me see here. Okay. Okay. Okay, the WH questions using what time did we practice that? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so it means that we reached our objective because we practiced that, right? And also, did we work at pages 33 and 34? Yes or no? Yes. yes. In your manual. Okay, so we achieved our goal. 
class. Remember, tomorrow, Thursday, we have a class. It's going to be our class number 14. Continue working in the platform. If you have questions or doubts, get ready uh, for tomorrow in the feedback and you ask me and I'm going to answer to you. But for today, I have to, let me see. Mm. Check. Oh yes, here he is. Serafine, I'm going to ask you to stay with me 10 minutes, please. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Serafine se va a quedar conmigo 10 minutos esta noche. And I was like, is it me? Is it me, God? <laughs> Dios mío, seré yo. Everybody, <laughs> have a good night and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Sleep well. Bye. Sleep bye, bye. 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 Thank you for joining. Bye. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Serafin, tell me about today's topic. Uh, acerca del tema de ahora. Bye, Filomena. Se quedó frozen, Filomena. Okay, uh, tell me eh, any doubt that you might have about what time. Hágame las preguntas que considere necesarias acerca de what time. Del what time. Uh -huh. El tema que vimos este día. What time to you? What time? What time to you? Um... Lo que hemos visto, lo, como yeah. un feedback, digamos, algo así. Yes. Preguntas, eh, algo que, que no le haya quedado como que muy claro. Fíjese que lo que era ahí el, el cuando, me, y lo digo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, cuando, cuando utilizar y me confundes con el do y el, y das. el dos. Sí, oh, ahí, ahí. Okay. Cuando Presente sí. Una, sí, okay. ahí tengo ese. Que... Ok, acá, veamos. Tenemos el presente simple. Okay. We have been mm -hmm. working since last week and this week with the simple present tense. Mm -hmm. Sí. Tense. Okay. Hemos estado trabajando con el simple present tense. Entonces, para las yes, no questions, la semana pasada también utilizamos do, ¿verdad? Ese es el sí. verbo, el modal auxiliar pero se convierte en das cuando lo sí. utilizamos con tercera persona de singular. Es decir, si usted se recuerda, yo les decía desde el inicio de clase que tenemos I, primera persona de singular. Sí. Y sí. You, y segunda, segunda. Persona de singular. He, third person singular, tercera persona de sí, singular. Tercera persona. Y tercera persona singular. It, third person singular. And then we have you, we, primera persona de plural. Yes, we, uh -huh. you, segunda persona de plural. And they, tercera persona de plural. Entonces, acá tenemos los um, subject Sujet. pronouns. Uh -huh. Porque son sujetos son, o pronombres personales, ¿verdad? Subject uh -huh. pronouns. Entonces, vamos a utilizar I do. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes. Do. 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 He does. That. She does. That. It does. We okay. do. Does. do. You do. They do. Acá en you, no importa si es singular o plural, vamos a utilizar do. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Bien. Entonces, sí. esta, este do y das lo utilizamos para yes, no questions. Yes, we, here. Yes, no questions. Ok. For example, ¿qué decíamos que eran las yes, no questions? Aquellas preguntas en las que tenemos la posibilidad de contestar de forma afirmativa o de forma negativa. Por ejemplo, do you... Do you play tennis? Ajá, será que es déme la respuesta no. a esta pregunta. No, primero déme la respuesta afirmativa. Yes. Yes, I. I. I do. Yes, I do. 
Yes, I do. Y luego en negativo, no, no, yes, I do es la Ajá. respuesta corta, hasta corta, ahí, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes, no puedo. Ajá. Y en negativo, no. No, I don't. No, I don't. Muy bien. I don't. Si fuera respuesta completa, ¿ok? ¿Cuál sería Ajá. la respuesta? I podría ser yes, I do. I, lo que usted me decía anteriormente. Ajá. I play tennis. I play tennis. I play tennis. ¿Qué sucede acá? Si se fija en la respuesta completa, porque en yes, I do, es la respuesta corta. ¿Sí? Sí. Ahí llevamos el verbo auxiliar porque no llevamos verbo. Por eso decimos yes, I do. Pero en la respuesta completa que tenemos acá, I play tennis. ¿Qué sucede? Okay. Acá no utilizamos ya el verbo do, porque llevamos el verbo principal, sí, ¿sí? en forma afirmativa, respuesta larga, respuesta completa, no utilizamos ningún auxiliar, sí, pero ¿qué okay. sucede si la respuesta es negativa? No, I don't, así don't. me dijo, ¿verdad? Respuesta sí. corta, afirmativa. Si fuera una respuesta larga, larga, negativa, no, I don't, don't play tennis. En la respuesta negativa usamos don't or doesn't, dependiendo del sujeto de la oración, y el verbo no sufre ningún cambio, ¿verdad? Ahí sí, ahí sí. don't, en la negativa completa, ahí sí lleva el auxiliar don't, o si fuera tercera persona de singular, doesn't. Hagamos un sí. ejemplo con tercera persona de singular. Con el doesn't, ajá, esa es la otra palabra. Ajá, does, he, mm, does he study English? English. Does he study English? Ya. Yeah. La short answer, ¿cuál sería? Um, afirmativa, afirmativa. Y yes. Yes, he. Ajá. Uh -huh. He does. Yes, he does. Ok, sí, el verdad. full answer. Y la respuesta completa, Study afirmativa. English. He. Otra vez, he. Studies. Studies o. Oh. English. English. Fíjese bien, Serafín, acá. Y es quizás es la respuesta corta. Corta. Y por eso lleva un puntito acá. Luego Correct. iniciamos acá, porque ya no tengo espacio para escribir acá abajo. He studies English. ¿Qué pasa acá? Como es afirmativo, ¿verdad? En tercera persona de singular, como no utilizamos, ya dijimos, en oraciones afirmativas, en presente simple no utilizamos ningún auxiliar. Entonces el verbo sufre un cambio. Nice. El verbo es study, ¿sí o no? Sí. Ya dijimos right. que cuando los verbos terminan en Y, yeah. you eliminate the letter Y and you add I, E, S. Eliminas la letra Y y agregas I, E, S. Y es yeah. el cambio, mire. Entonces That's... cuando es afirmativo en tercera persona, la respuesta completa, el verbo sufre cambio, ¿sí? Sí. Solo Estar cuando es tercera entonces. persona. Excelente. And now, Estar let's write the negative, the negative answer. Sería, no, no he, doesn't. No, he, he doesn't. doesn't. Ok, doesn't. no, he doesn't. doesn't. Esa es la negativa corta. No, corta. he doesn't. Uh, no. Uh, no, no. Doesn't. ya se sobreentiende que él no estudia. Ahora, Formuleme la eh, oración negativa completa. Sería. He. He. Doesn't. Ok. Doesn't. Sería de nuevo este he. No, porque ya tiene he doesn't. ¿Qué le sigue después de el, el, el auxiliar? Studies. En Studies. este caso. Ajá. Study. Como Study. ya. Fíjese bien, como ya llevamos el verbo auxiliar, doesn't, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. El verbo ya no cambia en negativo. Doesn't study English. English, ok. okay. Oh, sí. Vaya, fíjese acá. 
En negativos, como dijimos que sí llevábamos el verbo auxiliar, ¿verdad? Utilizamos sí. doesn't porque es para he, tercera persona. Si fuera she, igual she doesn't. Si she, fuera it, she doesn't. it doesn't. Pero lo importante es acá, mire, el verbo no sufre cambio, sino que va en su forma natural, en la base, ¿sí? En negativo, ¿verdad? Y es así sí. es. Muy bien. Respuesta Perfecto. corta. Y, en, y ya en, cuando es afirmativo, ya lleva el... El, el cambio en el verbo, el pero el no lleva auxiliar. Yes. Así es. No solo yes. cuando es Y. Ok, cuando no son... solo cuando es tercera persona de singular. Tercera voy persona a, de singular. Voy a, voy a borrar esto. Pero voy a tomar un otro ejemplo. Ok. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Sí, porque no avisan cuando toman el screenshot y salgo. <risa> sí, sí, por ah, eso. Ya, yeah. ok. Vaya, veamos un ejemplo. If we say, does she, does she um, write reports? Ok. Does she write reports? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta corta? Afirmativa. Eh, she, yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay. Now yes. the full answer, full answer. Yes. Um, yes. She. She does great. No. no. Yes. En afirmativo no lleva el auxiliar. Perdón, yes, right. She. Ah, okay, she. pero muy right. bien. Reports. Report, la S de... de... Para tercera persona de singular, ¿sí? Correcto. En estadio sí. hacíamos el cambio porque el verbo es diferente, termina en Y. ¿okay? Y. Now negative. No. No. She, she doesn't. Doesn't. Ok, very doesn't. well. And now the full answer. No. No. She, she um, does, doesn't. Doesn't. Uh -huh. Right, yes. Algo así. Right, right sin la yes. S. Sin la S. Right, right. report. Report. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. sí. Solamente sí. para he, she, it, este cambio de ahí para todos los demás, los verbos no cambian. Cuando no es negativo. Voy a más. Ok, muy <ríe> bien. Voy a tomar una lo... Ok. Sí, ya me está. Hoy sí ya me queda claro. Ok, y we say, do. They mm, play the piano. Do they play the piano? Uy. Mm, mm, no. Uh -huh. Affirmative. No. Yes. Yes. They. They. Do. Does. Yes, they yes, do. Yes, do. Porque yes, es yes, do they. they do. Tiene también que prestar atención, Serafín, con el verbo auxiliar que le preguntan. Con ese va a contestar en respuesta corta. Yes, they do. En negative answer, no. No. They. Ajá. Doesn't. No, porque no le estoy preguntando con das. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Do they play the do. piano? Do. No, they. Negative. No, they. Espérame. No, de, doesn't. No, porque no le estoy preguntando con do. Mire, es do they. Yes, they do. ¿Y el negativo cuál es? No, they. No. No, ahí sí no. No, they don't. Don't. Ay. Ah, doesn't. Ah, no, le pongo el doesn't. No, es sí, que este es solo para tercera persona. No, they don't. Okay. Tiene que prestar atención aquí, mire. Le pregunté con do y yes, they do. Negativo, no, they don't. ¿Sí? No, they don't. Ok. Ok. And now, do you, do you play soccer? Yes. 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 Do you? Do you play soccer? Yes, do you? No, yes, do you. Yo le pregunto, do you play soccer? A usted le pregunto, juega fútbol. Do you play soccer? Yes. Cuando yes. le pregunto con you, ¿con qué me va a contestar? Si sí, tú. No, ¿cuál es el verbo? Yes, do. 
No. Si yo le digo, Serafín, usted, fíjese bien en español, usted juega fútbol. ¿Qué me contesta en español? Yes. Pues yes, sí, pero sí. Ay. Ajá, yes, I. Yes, I, I. Tú, yes, I do. do play. I now, yes, I do. And now the negative, no. No. I. Ajá. Don't. No, I don't. Doesn't. I don't. ¿Y por qué doesn't? Don't. No, <laughs> don't. I don't. Y ahora, respuesta completa para esta. Do you play soccer? Yes. I. Yes. Yes, I, I do. No. I do. No, porque do. es respuesta larga. Oración simple. Yes, I. Yes, I play. I play. Soccer. Soccer. Ajá. Negativo. Full answer. No, I. No, I play. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't what? ¿Y el verbo? Es sería no? el... El, el, el play es algo ¿Por así. ¿Por qué plays? Si es primera persona, no es tercera persona de singular. Tercera oh. persona de singular, he, she, it. No, play. I don't play. play. Very well. Play. No, I don't play, play. play. soccer. Okay. Recuerde, third person singular, he, she, it. Esos son los que va a utilizar das y van a sufrir cambio los verbos en Acabe en mm -hmm. afirmativo, ¿verdad? Pero no vamos a utilizar el modal auxiliar, ¿sí? Okay. Y en negativo, para tercera persona de singular es doesn't. Para todos los demás es don't, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, voy a... Ok, read, a, a, read, the, book, read the book, Sí, ok. Eh, repase oh. todo porque ya lo estuvimos viendo, ¿verdad? Y lo vamos a seguir sí. viendo, pero es de prestarle atención al verbo con el que nos preguntan, con ese mismo vamos a contestar, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. okay. And sí. if, if, if I ask you, for example, what time do you get up? What time do you get up? Deme una respuesta completa. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? Um... I, I, I time. No, I get up because the question is this one. Okay, here. This is my question, Serafin. What time do you get up? Okay, what time do you get up? So I. I time. No, ¿y por qué yo tiempo? El verbo es get up. I, I get up. Ok, I get up at, ¿a qué hora se levanta? I get up at. At six, six. Uh -huh. Six uh, o'clock. Six o'clock, ok. A.M. I get up, uh -huh. at six a.m. En that, en that set. Fíjese bien, cuando le pregunto a usted directamente con you, me va a contestar con I. ¿Ok? Ok. No me va a contestar con ningún otro, sino que con I. Pero si le pregunto a todo el grupo de la clase, me van a decir we, porque ahí ya estoy usando you como plural, pero en este caso, direct question to you. Pregunta directa a usted, me contesta con I. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Ok, very well. Ok, so, you need to continue practicing. <risa> Trabaje en la plataforma, revise el libro. En el manual vienen unos links que uh -huh. ustedes pueden revisar, ¿verdad? Alternativamente, porque ya ve que el tiempo no nos alcanza en clase. Por ejemplo, acá, uh -huh. mire, en algunos eh, eh, les aparece, ay, ah, este es de la, de la anterior, ¿verdad? Pero en algunos les aparece para refuerzo. Unos audífonos. Sí, acá, miren, 
Es eso. Esto, esto. Expand your listening comprehension. Y ahí está para que ustedes vayan reforzando en cada unidad y en cada tema, ¿de acuerdo? Y también lo que se les presenta en la plataforma, ¿sí? Lo voy a revisar, okay. sí. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for giving me your time, okay? Have a good night and Muchas see you gracias. tomorrow. Okay, my pleasure. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Muchas thank you, Red. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure, Professor Fernando, que se desconecte. Bye bye. Bye.